hello everyone welcome to coding with Ivan and in this video we will see how we can implement recycler view in our Android app so let's get started at first as you can see here I have opened a new project called recycler view app and here we have our main activity Java and the activity main XML so at first I'll go into the activity main XML file I'll go into split view and then inside here I'll change the root layout into a linear layout and then I'll delete this text view here and I'll add a recycler view here and for the width and height I'll pass match parent match parent all right and then we have to give a ID for our recycler view for the ID I'll pass recycler underscore main okay so let's give this a nice margin I'll give this as 8 dp all right so now we will design a custom layout for our single items in the recycler view so for this I'll go into the rest folder inside the layout I'll right click on it and create a new layout resource file I'll call this single items and then I'll click on ok again I'll go into the split view and now inside this uh, single item I'll change the root layout into a card view okay and then inside the card view I'll create a new linear layout I'll set the width as match parent and for the height I'll pass wrap content all right now let's give a ID for our card view also so here insert the card views tag I'll pass ID as main underscore container all right now let's go inside this linear layout and here I'll add two text views one is to show the name and other one is to show the age in your case you can add any other views that you want so here I'll add a text view for the width I'll pass 0 dp because we are going to use weights here and then for the height I'll pass wrap content then we'll add weights here so here for the weight I'll pass 1 so that it will take the available space for the width of the view alright and now inside this text view let's give this an ID also I'll call this text name let's set a dummy text here so for the text let's write Ivan and let's change the text size here let's change it to 26 SP all right and then let's set the text color to color black and then inside this linear layout let's add a margin so for the margin I'll pass let's say 8 dp all right and now here is our text view and now let's copy this text view one more time down here and I'll change the ID to text age and here I'll pass a random number so that as you can see as we have weights here our text views are divided into two same uh, sized views all right so now I guess our design is ready okay let's uh, put this text to the end of this view so for this inside this text age I'll write text alignment to text end okay I guess it's perfect now so our custom view for our single list items are ready now we can go inside our main activity.java here so at first uh, we will need to create a view holder for our recycler view items so here in this package I'll right click on it create a new Java class and I'll call this custom view holder enter so insert this custom view holder I'll make this extends 
recycler view dot view holder as you can see it's showing an error let's click on this and it's asking to create constructor matching super let's click on that so here we have our constructor now above the constructor we need to create objects for our views so i'll create public objects for it public text view so the first one was text name and the second one was text age all right and now we'll initialize them inside our constructor so go after the super item view and here let's call this text name first equals item view dot find view by id r dot id dot text name oops text name similarly i'll initialize the text age also so text age equals item view dot find view by id r dot id dot text age all right so now as we have created our custom view holder now we can go to create our custom adapter for our receptor view so again i'll right click on this package create a new java class i'll call this custom adapter hit enter and inside this custom adapter i'll make this extends recycler view dot adapter and inside the angle bracket i'll pass our custom view holder all right and as you can see it's again showing some error let's click on that and click on this red bulb here and it's asking to implement methods let's click on that select these three and hit ok so here we got our three methods now we have to create a constructor for our adapter also but before that we'll initialize our objects for our custom adapter so at first we'll initialize a context so i'll write private context i'll call this context and then we also need to pass a list of uh, strings that we want to show here so we will generate a new uh, custom model for our list items in our main activity later so for this we will pass here a list of uh, custom model so let's actually at first create that model class so again i'll right click on it create a new java class and here i'll call this uh, let's say my model and hit enter so inside this model class we will store two variables one is the name and other one is the age so for this i'll write string name and integer age all right so now we can also implement getter and setter methods for our objects so i'll right click here click on generate and i'll click on this getter and setter i'll select both of them and click on ok so here we got our getter and setter methods for our name and age now let's go back into our custom adapter.java and here i'll create a list of our custom model type so i'll again write private list of uh, my model and i'll call this list all right and now we can create the constructor for our custom adapter for this i'll go here right click on it click on generate and i'll click on constructor select both of them and click on ok so this is our constructor for our custom adapter now we can go to implement these three methods in our custom adapter so here in the on create view holder instead of returning null we will return a new custom view holder and here i'll pass the layout so i'll write layout inflator dot from and here i'll pass the context then dot inflate 
and here I'll pass the custom layout that we created which is the single items so I'll write r dot layout dot single items then the second parameter will be parent and for the third parameter I'll pass false alright so that is for our uh, on create view holder now we can go inside our on bind view holder so here we need to bind our views so inside here we will just attach the text into our text views so let's call our text name here so for this i'll write holder dot text name dot set text and here i'll call our list dot get from position dot get name all right so our name is now attached to the text name now similarly we'll work for the uh, age so I'll again write holder dot text age dot set text then again I'll call list dot get from position dot get age all right and this might return us an error because it's in integer our age as you can see here so it's better to cast this into string so I'll write uh, string dot value of and inside this parameter we will pass this list dot get position dot get age all right so now our on bind view holder is done now inside this get item count we will return list dot size instead of this zero okay so our custom adapter is now ready now we can go into our main activity dot java and start our coding there so here at first we need to create object for our recycler view and the list of our custom model so I'll go right here and create a new object for our recycler view I'll call this recycler view and then I'll create a list of our my model and I'll call this let's say my list my model list okay let's use that and then also we will create a object for our custom adapter so I'll create a object for our custom adapter and I'll call this let's say custom adapter all right so now inside this on create view let's create a method to display our files or display our list so I'll call display items let's call this items and will create this method outside of the on create method so I'll just click here and here we have the private void display items so inside here we will initialize our recycler view so at first I'll write recycler view equals uh, sorry find view by ID r dot ID dot recycler main all right and then I'll write recycler view dot set has fixed size let's say this is true and then we'll set the layout manager for our recycler view so i'll write recycler view dot uh, set layout manager and here i'll pass a new grid layout manager and here at first we need to pass the context so i'll pass this and then we need to pass the span count let's say one okay and now we need to add items to our model list so let's add them i'll write my model list dot add and here i'll pass a new uh, my model sorry my model and here inside this my model class we forgot to add a constructor so we need to add one so i'll go here under this objects and i'll right click on it click on generate and click on constructor I'll select both of the items and click on OK. So here we got our constructor with the name and age. Now we can go back to our main activity.java here. Now inside this my model, we'll pass our values for the model. So here at first I'll pass a name. Let's write Ivan and for the age I'll pass 25. 
okay so similarly let's add multiple values so i'll press ctrl d to duplicate this and let's add few more all right so now let's change the values accordingly all right so here i have changed all the values accordingly now we can add this model list to our recycler view so for this i'll go down here and we'll initialize our custom adapter so i'll call our custom adapter equals new custom adapter and here at first we need to pass the context so i'll pass this and then we need to pass the list of my model so i'll pass my model list all right and finally we'll set this custom adapter to our recycler view so i'll write recycler view dot set adapter and here i'll pass our custom adapter all right so now let's run our application to see if our recycler view is working or not so here our app is crashed uh, that is because okay we didn't initialize our my model list so let's quickly initialize that so i'll go up here before this my model list dot add method and here i'll initialize our my model list so my model list equals new array list all right so now let's run our application again as you can see your app is installed and it's showing every single item in a single screen maybe we made some mistakes inside our single items so let's go here okay so here the mistake is we gave the height of our card view to match parent let's change this to wrap content all right and then let's do some more changes here inside the card view let's add a card elevation of let's say 8 dp and also give this a corner radius so i'll write card corner radius of 8 dp all right let's also give this a margin so for the margin let's pass let's pass 8 dp also okay so now let's run our application again and see the changes And as you can see your app is now reinstalled and it's showing all the data with the name and ages so in the next video we will see how we can implement on click listener for all of these single items so that's it for the video thank you so much for watching